On top of that, you, you have your, um, oh, fucking hell. I'm quite excited about this video, next video, next video after that. Assuming that I actually get these done as I expect to get them done, which who knows. Um, this stuff now is starting to get back to uh, really, I suppose, where this channel was spawned out of, which is to do with everything that's, that's um, you know, to, 240p retro gray gaming retro gaming crt scan lines all that shit um yeah now i'm going to start off with uh well obviously you've seen the um you've seen the title to the video so it's going to be no great surprise that i am doing a video on this device Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi. This one is a 3B. It's been overclocked. Um, I've also got a 3B plus. The reason why I've got a 3B plus is I've only just actually only just ordered that and got it delivered. Second hand that was. I don't think you can actually buy them anymore, brand new, because the four's out. Um, but the reason why I've bought another one is because of how impressed i am with this device uh, raspberry pi with a case you know just a normal case on there and the and the thing on top is a pi to scart adapter uh they're from arcade forge right so pi to scart what does the pi to scart do easy it uh, provides you a scart signal from a raspberry pi now, uh, that on its own doesn't give you, you know, necessarily what you want in respect to retro gaming, but there are images out there, um, uh, front ends and so forth, that, that have been specifically built to output to a 240p CRT, you know, 15 kilohertz, um, and they will work with a whole raft of, of emulators. Now, that's a nasty word. It's not so much of a nasty word nowadays. Um, I've been I've been ex extremely impressed to be honest, but there are a number of reasons for that. And it takes an audio feed from the uh, Raspberry Pi, feeds it into the Pi 2 SCART, which then actually um, whacks your whacks your audio then through your SCART um, uh, socket and you then use that to connect to your CRT. So you've got several sides of this. You've got your hardware in respect of, of, of the platform that you're going to be playing the emulation on. In this case, we've got a Raspberry Pi. You've got effectively an adapter board there to provide you a, 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 a SCART output or a SCART, yeah, a SCART interface output. But to actually tie all this together, you need something software based that, that does your emulation for you and, and actually also provides you that 15 kilohertz output and the, and the resolutions associated to that. There are a couple of, of, of builds, base builds out there. Um, I've tried two three tried three and the one that i am going to be showing you now on this video and and the one that i would uh, recommend is retro pi crt edition so it's a branch of retro pi um and the creator of, of this version of retro pi um has has taken that and modified it in a way that 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 it will actually output a 15 kilohertz image so 
that's effectively what you need is a sort of complete package in respect to the hardware and the software side of it. Um, I've actually built the image myself, so I've taken I've taken the 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 core application RetroPie CRT edition, and then on top of that, I've actually added my ROMs and 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 got everything working myself. But it was really really straightforward. If you have used RetroPie before, which I have quite extensively, really, when I was messing around with Raspberry Pi, um, getting on for about three years ago now, actually, to be fair, um, uh, I spent a lot of time on it. So I. I I'd already got things that have been pre-built, so I took some things from elsewhere, but it didn't take me that long to actually get a really good image up and running with all the all the consoles and, and the games that I wanted, you know, snapshots and all that lot when you go through a menu system, but again, I can show you that. Um, so that that is basically it from a, 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 I suppose really a generic hardware perspective and, and software. Now, I'm sure there's going to be moans and groans from, and and I was one of those people in respect of emulation. Never had a lot of time for it, if I'm being honest. Um, always preferred the uh, the hardware, you know, whether that's arcade, whether it's consoles, um, and and more and more recently, I have got into looking at it actually how things have advanced, and. And to be fair, emulation itself, software emulation, has advanced a hell of a lot. It isn't the nasty lag fest, certainly with caveats, you know, that it used to be. Um, so if you've got snappy emulation, and there's plenty of emulation um, um, uh, solutions out there that aren't great, in my opinion, you know, that have got quite a bit of lag on them and that's one of the biggest issues I think with any form of emulation um, you know you, you, you have emulation accuracy of course but you can have something that's really accurate but if you've got a lot of lag on on the on the system which normally is 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 a two-sided coin in respect to lag so you can have um, a display lag effectively and you can also have have controller lag. Now there are other other forms of lag in respect to the emulation itself, but let's just discount that stuff for the moment. Let's just assume we've got a real good emulation core setup. Um, so screen, excuse me, screen lag. Well, going down this route, that gets rid of screen lag because you are already going down a CRT route where you don't get that problem with with lag so you, you take that out of the equation uh, controller lag that's a real thing and the more and more research I've done on this kind of emulation the more and more you actually realize that that um, well not I didn't realize this before but but you find things out and and there can be differences between certain types of controller even even now it, it was it's always been known that if you are gaming wirelessly compared to wired wireless you'll always get additional lag over well, i say always that's probably not strictly true but 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 it but but from a technology basis, uh, you you would always normally expect that that there'll be an increase in lag uh, using a wireless uh, controller over what it would be if it would be wired. So I would always recommend going down a wired route. But even wired uh, controllers, you can get varying levels of lag on wired controllers. So if you look at something like an Xbox 360 or an Xbox One controller that's that's hardwired, they're not very good. <laughs> they're quite laggy um, so I think I said in the previous video that that I'd bought some controllers and 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 the controller I've been using at, at the moment it won't be the controller that I'd always want to use because of the button layout but um, is an 8-bit doe SN30 Pro this is one of the better and quicker controllers um, and I've got to be honest with the with the setup with the Pi, you know, going to a CRT uh, with this controller. 
on the emulators that I've been trying onto the CRT, Christ, it, it's 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 brilliant. It is absolutely brilliant. I'm I'm so impressed with it. Um, it's really snappy. There's a big difference between this setup and the <laughs> and actually using the same device but going to HDMI so even going to a low lag screen I've got a low lag PC monitor here so even after even having HDMI output to that with before I used to use the Xbox 360 um, uh, wide pad you know when I was doing this a couple of years ago when I was uh, uh, sort of getting into this and doing a bit of a, um, a testing phase on it I was supposed to have done a video there. That was that was that was well over two years ago. Never got around to doing it, but I will do now because I'm starting that process off. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, uh, the difference in the lag, even using the same emulators, the same cores, it is appreciable. There's a big difference. So using a low lag uh, controller and using a CRT, it, it, it's it's big difference big 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 difference now um, uh, the good thing about about the way that all this works with the front end well not the front end but the, well yeah the, the yeah the front end stroke um, uh, emulation um, a, a base image is that it is able to interpret and output all of the relevant and specific resolutions of the original hardware yeah because all the resolutions change and any of you guys that have cabs know that every game or every platform that you change on you have to tweak the pots on the on the screen because it gets shifted you might lose a bit of sync you've got to adjust everything because of the uh, one of the, <laughs> one of the elements for that is because of the frequency that games tend to run at they're not all 60 hertz um, and to be fair there is different positioning on on the on the video output for consoles and so forth and arcade to add to the mix as well but but one of the big things about this image this setup here is that it matches the original frequency of the of either the uh, console which to be honest, all consoles, they're NTSC, they'll be 60 hertz anyway, so that's a bit of a moot point. Um, but for arcade, every single arcade output um, at refresh rate is matched perfectly onto the CRT, and it's output perfectly. That makes a substantial difference to the way that, that the that the arcade game will play. It makes it that much more um, uh, authentic, it takes any juddering out of the scrolling. I will be talking in another video about how, how, or what I feel about um, about Mr. FPGA because I'm going down that route as well. But, but you think that 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 this isn't a, I suppose the whole of this isn't a mega expensive setup. You know, the joypad is, I can't remember how much joypad was, thirty pound. Oh, screen's gone off. Come on, chop, chop, chop. 30 pound, I think. Yeah, about 30 pound for the joypad. Pi, 30 pound. Um, Pi to scart, another 30 pound. So that's what, 90. Power supply, tenner, 100 quid. Uh, memory card, you know, it, it, it's 110 quid whatever you know it, it it's it's not a massive amount of money for what you're getting out of it um so yeah uh, i'm i'm i mean like i said i i'm 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 really bloody impressed with this really am so i'm now going to cut to some video of 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 this on my crt i'm going to go through um you know consoles uh, that i've put on and also a few arcade games and cores and so forth and uh yeah i'll uh i'll get you some scanline shizzle right so hopefully let's just zoom in a bit here so there's your lovely lovely scan lines nice and pin sharp 
grum that back a bit. Right. So let's see what we can see. So this is the uh, front end to uh, the RetroPie CRT edition. Um, and we can scroll across and we can see the consoles that I've got set up. So I've got Super Nintendo, Sega CD, Genesis 32X, Scum VM. I don't really need that. I'll take it off at some point. But uh, RetroPie, which is any, any RetroPie specific setup access. Uh, PlayStation, uh, PC Engine. Nintendo Entertainment System, Neo Geo, Mega Drive, Sega Master System, and Arcade. I just want to show you the CRT uh, configuration because this is all the this is over and above what you ever get on a RetroPie setup. So this is all specific to a, um, a 240p output. And we've got some. I'm just thinking, what is what's useful for me to show you? quickly go through this uh, let's look at image utilities so you can actually center the front end which is what we're on at the moment so you can set the 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 um, uh, the geometry adjustments for the front end which is all the menu system that you're seeing now and then you can do a separate one for in-game centering um, now you can actually alter this as well via the emulators if you wish to uh, to be honest the way that i've got all this set up i don't have to do any additional altering so it, it it's sort of best it's been set up or i've set it up so it's best for everything that i'm doing it's not perfect it's not like it will be on an arcade cab if i was adjusting per per kind of um a pcb but it's uh, absolutely fine for uh, what you need it for on a crt this is on my on my sony bvm uh, crt and you've also got access to uh the the uh Timeo's 240p test suite so if you want to set up all your all your funky stuff you can so the test patterns so if we look at the grid 240p so that that's the that's the old setup grid that you normally have that you use to set up your geometry um, you know again not that, uh, not that I want to brag or anything but these BVMs are uh, absolutely outstanding that is a pretty and that could that could actually do with some if i've been really anal i could do some i could do some further tweaks on that but to be fair i mean it's it's you know these things are bang on absolutely bang on so uh let's get out of this um, um it's probably not that lot to show you. Um, let's come out of this. Let's get here for what we really got here for. Some gaming. Right, so let's have a quick look at Super Nintendo first. So let's go for it. So the, there are other uh, consoles that you can set up for this. Um, but for me, this is what I want on this particular image and, it, and it's... Uh, Oh, right, so let's... I don't know why I keep coming back to this, cause, but I, I do love this game. Super R type. So you can actually set here via the uh, front end whether you want it PAL or NTSC. Well, who, who the f... <laughs> I mean, come on. Who wants it in PAL? Crappy 50 hertz. We want 60 hertz. The full shiz. Right. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty this is. Oh, I'm going to zoom in then. That's 
talk about the porn that is. Marvellous. Right, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna do a lot of playthrough on this, but I just wanna show you. And, you know, the controller is, is, it, is really responsive. You know, everything's smooth. Well, the smooth is what it will be on a, on a, um, on an original console, that's for sure. Which obviously for this game isn't, isn't particularly smooth, is it? Let's be honest. I could probably do with adjusting the uh, white balance on that video. It's quite overexposure, isn't it? But, no, you can't be a bit of bloom though, can you, on CRT? Let's be honest. In dreams are made of that stuff. Right, let's uh, right, let's get back to the uh, main menu. So, yeah, it's a Sega CD. Let's have a look at. I mean, all this stuff is pretty. You know, it's it's. Um, Standard fare, isn't it? Really, let's be honest. some of the settings on the camera then but I'll end up I'll end up knackering it all up then won't I? come on chop chop so let's just have a quick quick toot on this to show anything more on that. Turn that volume down a bit. Um, Sega Genesis, do you want to see that? Not that bloody same as bloody Mega Drive, innit? Metro Pi, so let's have a, have a toot on one of these. Um, uh, let's go for a bit of, let's go for a classic. Uh, go for that. game come out or when the console come out I should say I was there on launch day well not actually on launch day there in Japan but I had to get machine really quickly afterwards and this was the game I was playing Three, two, one. 
brilliant guy. Classic this is. Look at him, I mean, that, that, that looks, I mean I'm looking at the viewfinder here on the, on the camera and it, it looks absolutely stunning. You just can't whack a good CRT, can you? You just can't. Sorry. You can stick all your bloody HD displays up your ass. Oh, it just looks brilliant. It looks it looks brilliant in a retro blocky kind of way. <laughs> well, it is. I mean, it's um, it's just a vibrancy, isn't it? Of everything and responses mega. I've got some bloody responsive LCD screens, you know, but they just don't, they just don't cut it, and, and you can feel it. I, I mean, I mean, I can feel the lag difference. I have people saying, "Oh yeah, we're talking about your mouth." The problem is, you get used to it. It, 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 it is real. You know, controller lag is real. And I think a lot of people have just got used to it when they're on emulation or are playing on LCD screens or whatever, because it's fucking dog shit when you play on a CD. CRT, you compare it and it's, it is chalk and cheese. I can feel it, all the, you know. I can feel it, said the actress to the visual. Anyway, so, it's a bit of PlayStation hoof. Uh, PC engine, let's, let's throw a, shall I put a CD on, uh, I'll tell you what, oh, Tekken, what am I doing, um, D, 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 super, super, super star soldier. <laughs> Come on, chop, chop. Choppo, choppo. Now this is one game, well it's not one game, it's quite a few of them actually, but, but, but you notice lag on this game, the input lag, yeah, it's, it's, I, I can feel it quite obviously and, and it's just, it feels really snappy on this. Shot that is, that's the best one. That one, like that. Oh, I fucking hate that one. Again, it's just, I mean, you just can't, you can't whack a CRT, can you? You just can't. Sorry. It's a good job and all, because I've got about eight of them in the house. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's one of the things I've never binned CRTs. I don't remember a jump one. Uh, that's probably not strictly true, but. Right. Gonna be boring now, isn't it? So, bloody house, 14 minutes. I might have to edit this down. Um, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Do you want to see an NES? Okay. Um, I think it's the. Uh, 
do, 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 Now, there is, there is, is that it? Is that it? No, that ain't it. Uh, what was this? What's that? Oh, it's Zanak, that's the one. That's the bugger. Seen that one, enough of that. Uh, <laughs> Neo, you don't you? Yeah. Oh, God, you don't want to see this, do you? Let's go for the old last. Uh, oh. What happened there? That's what happened. Christ, 17 minutes. That's without the waffling at the start. Ah, oh, press the bleed. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I want to mup it. Ah, oh, might be alright. Oh, thank God for that. So I thought I'd gone into the emulator settings then. I don't want to hear that, do I? See, all this is on a pad. I mean, I could, I, I could connect me, uh, oh, twat. Uh, I could connect me, <laughs> me Virtua high grade Virtua stick up, and it'd be just be like playing down to arcade. I mean, you've all seen this stuff, and not, I mean, you can see how good it looks, it's like stunning. It's a dog's hoofs. You've seen all that, I think what you showing you that muck. Right. Jesus, I ain't gonna show you Mega Drive nor Master System. What I want to show you is the arcade. So and I reckon someone will slag me off for not, not showing bloody Master System or something. Um right, let's uh ooh. what can I sh what can I Okay, actually, let's look at our type. Our type. So you can see what I mean. In fact, you won't, well, you won't necessarily be able to see what I mean because I, I won't be showing you the 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 juddery. Now I'm gonna. What, I don't know which one's which. Let's go for cropped. Now the other thing about our type is because of the resolution's really weird is that it doesn't fit on the screen properly, it gets chopped. But the, but the front end knows this and gives you some options around it, it's not perfect, ideally. If it was on my arcade, now you can tell straight away by looking at that, that is, that is buttery smooth, because normally that would be a bit juddery if it was trying to match it at, at 60 degrees. Now, if you look at the bottom of the screen, Ah, saying this, you're not gonna. Nah, actually, this is gonna look dog shit, isn't it, on YouTube? I forgot because 
this camera doesn't uh, <laughs> well that's a bloody waste of time yeah because this camera isn't 60 frames a second it's 50 frames so <laughs> I've gone to all that trouble of showing you bloody hard type and it's not going to come out right on YouTube because it's going to be juddering because it'll do a frame rate conversion won't it what a what a gimp anyway right uh, just trust me it's as smooth as a baby's backside. Yeah, so it's quite a bit chopped off on this. Yeah, so the bottom of the screen, you haven't got your... Um, uh, 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 you can't see your weapon bar or your score. Not that you need to see it, but... And the top of the screen as well, I actually go off it. So it, it's... it. Yeah, I, could, I, I mean, I can alter this. Absolutely can alter this if I want to. But it'd be a pain in the backside. So, you know, for one game, it's just not bloody worth it, to be honest. There's quite a lot of bloom on this. Oh, that one there, that looks, that don't look great. I can't see it on the video, but... So, anyway. That was our type, which I can't really show you. Let's put on a CPS 3 game. Uh, let's... Um, uh, I can't think now. Go Street Fighter, I suppose. Third, third Strico. It's a fair bit of bloom on that. I think I've got my um, contrast turned up a bit too much. I'll whack it back down a bit. It takes quite a while to load this. Line fest. Twat. I'm gonna get choked out, you know. Look at that, skin of my teeth. Go for it. I don't even know why I'm saying this stuff. Um, so let's uh, let's go uh, back. That is really it. Um, yeah, nothing else to show you guys, really. So th that is just a, a a bit of a quick run through, really, of of, um, of this Pi setup for 240p. Um, not sure what video I'll do next in this this series. Might be FPGA, 
mister, might not, who knows. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed the video guys and I will speak to you again soon.